You think you know me. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ratchet Gladiators. In the last episode we went through a whole lot of toxic everything and today we are continuing with the toxic stuff by doing two mi two challenges. Uh, last time I did a um, Landstalker mission in Plant Shaw, it only took two tries, so let's give it give it a go. I'm expecting this to be much, much worse. Oh, it's time to play Bargain Turkey Shoot! This challenge tests our contestant speed and accuracy. Speed and accuracy. What could possibly go wrong with this? Uh, yeah, here's the. <sighs> yep. Yeah, this is a lot more difficult than the Landstock one in Plant Shard because I'm almost dead already. And once again, I, you need to remember I'm not actually controlling the Landstalker, it's an auto scroller. Blow up everything again. And I'm still not sure if. Uh, I'm still not sure if hitting the this with hitting this with your missiles is the best idea. Of course, there's wall, there's a ceiling, so that's not really an option. I've, now I've missed so much that I know. I'm I actually know know that. Why won't you die? Like seriously. Jackpot, I need that jackpot thingy. What am I lock on to? Like seriously, what was I lock locked on to? So many things that I were locked on to apparently. Alright, if they keep coming up one at a time, I might be able to do this. Once again I'm just locked on onto nothing. Yeah, four things to that I've locked on to. Apparently. Oh, of course, it just hides. This is literally impossible. And it's way longer than the Black Jar one. So, do not expect me to actually complete, complete this. <sighs> There's always that one guy that survives, which is really annoying. And now there's a dropship in, in my way. And all these points that I'm missing, because the lock-on is not working. Oh, hey, the auto-aim doesn't work. Now I'm getting pulverized by this thing. There's a jackpot thingy that I can't hit. Yep, not, not, not even close this time. 50,000 points off. Or oh, 5,000 points off. It's just like I remembered being completely impossible. Because this is, yeah, these take, guys take way too many shots. And I honestly have to focus on these enemies, because there's way too many of them and I will die otherwise. And shooting them just doesn't really work. Just shooting it doesn't work. And if I keep locking on to enemies, or those score thingies, I won't be locking on to the enemies that will kill me. So this is kind of the situation I'm in. I have to shoot this because the missiles won't be able to reach them because of the ceiling. And the lock-on just doesn't work. Yep, it's hitting the ceiling. Some, some, it might be able to go through once in a while, but the odds of that happening is really low.
Once again, what am I actually locking on to? Game. I need that thing destroyed, there we go. It would be nice if I had like a number. I physically had a number that I, that I would see what order these missiles are going in. I need those things destroyed so I can actually focus on the ones down. Send missiles over there. I, I've, I'm, I'm essentially once again dead. This is literally impossible. Just like I recall, is there anything like secret in there? No, nope. don't think so. Now I need these guys to fuck off, but they won't. Well, at least I'm getting XP for myself, if nothing else. Ay ay ay. Auto scrolling missions are never fun. Especially in this game. Because they just don't work at all. Ratchet's got this match on ice, ladies and gentlemen. The juice is cold, and the generic brand X gelatin is definitely jiggling. Ay ay ay, my life. Fuck my life, like seriously. This is what I'm actually was remembering previously when I was fearing the Shar one. It was exactly this. Because with two players this would be actually maybe possible. Maybe this would be possible with a two player. Because at least he might be able to somewhat control these these turrets or yeah the missiles but here it's like no just no ah that's jackpot time out there and it's once again really nice to see that just missiles hit everything it's not this area is not built for landstalker like not at all built for landstalker It's kind of nice to see that even the Landstalker can't go through this without taking a hit. Right, let's now focus towards this dropship, but nope, the lock-on is saying it. Nope, we are not focusing on the dropship, which is exactly what I want. You will not get a dropship. What the fuck is going on with this game? Two challenges. Two challenges that I feared the most in this playthrough. Five attempts in total to do two Landstalker auto walking. Challenges. They are essentially a turret section. How the fuck am I doing this? Yet I'm struggling a normal challenge. What the fuck? This might be my first five 
star playthrough, where I complete everything, get every single star in the game. Holy crap. It might actually be a possibility right now. Oh fuck, there's time limit. Oh fuck, I... I see, it's a weapon thingy. Shock mod. Immediately shock mod. Yep. And it's uh, lots of enemies, so... Just immediately shock mod everything. Immediately just shock mod everything. And I... No, I keep... Weapons stay alive, no mind. I was about to say... It's gonna be like... Like this section that I just... I don't... I don't survive. Oh, this was a bad idea to go for this, but... I picked up Magma Gano, that was my uh, mistake. Right, mine Lord Joan. I should have probably... I should have probably... Stick with... Stick with something way better than this. But too late now. Yep, not enough time. Not even slightly enough time. This one is just embedded in, in the floor. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, I did it. Never mind. The shock mode is the best mode. Apart from maybe the explosive ammo modes, but the uh, shock mode is the best. And this there is it annihilates small enemies. It just annihilates them. And uh, don't let, I'll be honest, I really expected to struggle on the last dog one. But there we go. 7 of 15 skill points right in the middle. Yeah, the early ones were eh. But eh. That's a decent amount of money I'm getting from just the skill points. Hard to hit, uh, that was that, and five execution of the fusion rival. Mm -hmm. Without using health crates, when? Light them up, uh, half and half, don't be a wimp. Ah, oh, right. Complete any chance on exterminate difficulty. That's apparently worth a skill point. Remember when skill points were like an act of. Uh, when you read something really obscure, you got a skill point in here, they're just, ah, this one is just perfect. This actually sums up the um, trophies and achievements in general these days. Hey, you did a thing. You did a thing on the hardest difficulty, have an achievement. And that's why I don't care. Anyway, that does it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going back to the battle... Blah, 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 blah. We're going back to Battle Dome, and we're going to a Crusader tournament, our third tournament of the game.